Hello S2, welcome back to German. This week our lesson is going to be looking at school uniform and last week the answer to the escape room was Deutsch ist super. So well done to you if you completed that. So I have a little starter for you. The first part is to translate these four sentences into English and then you also have a challenge to translate into German. You can look at your notes from previous lessons to help you um, and a good idea would be probably to pause the video whilst you do the starter and challenge and then click back on when you're ready. Okay, on you go. Okay, and you're back, well done. So, um, es ist halb acht. Germans talk about the hour to come. So, es ist halb acht is really, it is half seven. Ich mag Erdkunde lieber. So it is I prefer geography. Die Lehrerin ist langweilig. The teacher, so it's a female teacher because it has the IN, is boring. My Lieblingsfach ist Kunst. My favorite subject is art. On to the challenge. I don't like maths. It was Ich mag Mathe nicht. Some people weren't too sure on this in the Kahoot challenge, so remember that after the verb mag, it has to have the subject. So ich mag Mathe nicht. Super. Okay, so before I said that we're going to be learning about school uniform, so success criteria. Uh, bronze, I will be able to remember colours. Silver, I will be able to recognise items of clothing. And gold, I will be able to describe my school uniform. Okay. Los geht's. So, die Schuluniform. School uniform. Meine Schuluniform. My school uniform. So, we have this question at the top. Was trägst du in der Schule? Okay, have a little think. What do you think it could mean? Okay, and it means what do you wear in school? So, it comes from the verb tragen, which is to wear. So, ich trage... I wear einen Rock is a skirt. Looks like the word rock in English, but it's a skirt. So ich trage einen Rock. Don't worry about copying any of the vocab down. It's all in the vocab sheet that's provided as well. Ich trage einen Pullover. I wear a jumper. Ich trage eine Hose. I wear trousers. Ich trage eine Jacke. I wear a jacket. Ich trage eine Krawatte. I wear a tie. Ich trage ein Hemd. I wear a shirt. Ich trage Schuhe. I wear shoes. Or ich trage... Oh, I said it again. See, even us teachers make mistakes. Ich trage Sportschuhe. I wear trainers. So those are just some of the things that you would wear in your school uniform. Um, you might have noticed that they had these words einen, eine and ein before the noun. And it's the same as the word that we have in English for a. So I wear a skirt, I wear a tie, I wear a shirt. That's these words here. So einen is if it's masculine. Eine as if it's feminine and ein as if it's neuter. So in German they have three genders, masculine, feminine and neuter. And then they also have plural just like we have in English. So a really good idea would be if you could copy down this whole table into your jotter. Okay, we're going to need this a lot for the rest of the lesson. So if you could get this copy down into your jotter, just pause it while you get it done and then we'll come back in a second. Okay, now a little task. You have to choose the correct form, so either einen, eine, ein, or blank. So a good idea would be to look at the table that you just wrote down in your jotter, and then use these four words at the top to fill in the blanks. I've given you a little clue, so I put an M in the brackets if it's masculine, F if it's feminine, N if it's neuter, and then plural is plural. Okay, 
pause again, one to five, pick the craft word. Okay, so on to the answers. So, ich trage einen Rock. So, it's masculine, so it's einen. Krawatte is feminine, so it'll be eine. Hemd is neuter, so it's ein. Hose is feminine, so it's eine. And Schuhe, you leave it blank. It doesn't need anything before, because it's plural. Okay, well done if you got those correct. On to the next one. We did colours, I think, in the very first topic, whenever you started this one. Okay, which probably seems like a lifetime ago. But on the left hand side, you've got eight colours in English. And then on the right, you've got the colours in German. I want you to match them up. So you can write one and then the letter beside it. Okay, so one to eight, A to H. Pause the video again so you can do it, and then we'll come back for the answers. Okay, on to the answers. Green is grün, white is weiss, black is schwarz, brown is braun, blue is blau, red is rot, grey is grau, and yellow is gelb. So the answers are just on the right if you want to give them a little mark. Okay, so what are adjectives? Adjectives are describing words, they describe a noun. So for example, I could say, I'm wearing a green hoodie. So green would be the adjective because it's describing the hoodie. Or outside the weather is miserable. So miserable would be describing weather. So in German, they have got different rules around adjectives. Um, in English, if you wanted to say, I'm wearing a skirt, the skirt is green. Or, I'm wearing a green skirt. Green doesn't change, but in German it does. So, in German, if the adjective is after the noun it describes, is, describes then there are no endings. So, you could say, ich trage einen Rock, der Rock ist schwarz. I'm wearing a skirt, the skirt is black. Ich trage eine Hose, die Hose ist weiß. I'm wearing trousers, the trousers are white. So the colour doesn't change, there's no extra endings, just like how we would say it in English. But if the adjective is before the noun, then there are endings. So this little table here, it would be the same table you copied down a few slides ago. So it'd be quite useful if you have this open as we go through this. So if we look at this first sentence, Rock is einen, so it's masculine. And if we go over here, the ending you need to add is en. So you have the colour as normal, schwarz, then you add en. So ich trage einen schwarzen Rock. Next one, Hose. It's einer, so we know that's feminine. Back over to the table. Feminine, we add an E. So you have the colour, weiss, and then you add E. Ich trage eine weiße Hose. Hemd, it's ein, so we know that's neuter, and it adds ES. So we'll go back, rot, ES. Ich trage ein rotes Hemd. I wear a red shirt. And then the final one, ich trage blaue Sportschuhe. Schuhe, we know, are plural. You wouldn't wear one shoe, I hope. So, plural, we add an E. So, blau and an E is blaue. Okay, so, to recap, if the adjective is before the noun, we have these endings. E-N, E, E-S, E. You can maybe try to remember it as a rhyme. Make it really quickly. E N E E S E E N E E S E E N E E S E. And if it's after the noun, doesn't change. So before it changes, after it doesn't. Okay? So with that, I have another little task. There are five sentences. Okay? You need to get your little table back out in your jotter, keep it open, and look at the endings. So to give you a clue, 
look at the words for a. So eine, feminine. Ein is neuter. Einen, masculine. And eine and eine, feminine. That will help you decide which adjective ending you need to put. Okay? So one to five, write down the ending. Pause the video again whilst you do it. Okay, so. Eine gelb something jacke. Eine jacke is feminine, so we add an e. Ein hemd. Hemd is neuter, so we add es. Number three. Pullover. Einen. It's masculine, so we add an en. Einen schwarzen Pullover. Vier. Krawatte is eine. Feminine, so we add an e. Eine Hose, Nuckel, feminine, we add an E. Okay? There's the table again. So, einen, EN, eine, E, ein, ES, and if it's plural, we add an E. Okay? So, EN, E, ES, E. You'll be dreaming about this. EN, E, ES, E. Okay. Final task, I think, if I remember correctly. I think it is. Okay. So, you have three sentences in English, and if we look at the example, I wear a black skirt. Then I've given you these letters in brackets, and this is to help you think about what the start of each word is in German. So we've got an I, a T, E, S, and R. You'll notice that the R is a capital, and that's a really important thing in German, that all nouns have capital letters. So skirt, shoe, type of animal, a house, if they're a noun, they all have capital letters. So, with these letters, the answer would be, I would be for ich, trage would be for T, the E would be einen, the S would be schwarzen, and the R would be a rock. So, I, ich, Wear, trage, a, einen, black, schwarzen, skirt, rock. Okay, remember, if you check your vocab sheet, you'll get the gender for each piece of clothing. And then you also have your table for the adjective endings. Okay, pause the video again, take a few minutes to complete the task, and then we'll come back and look at the answers. Okay, so... Hopefully you got on okay. So, number eins. I wear a white shirt. Your letters were I-T-E-W-H. So, let's see what the answer is. The answer is, ich trage ein weißes Hemd. Okay? So, make sure you've got the E-S on the end of white, because it's neuter. And Hemd, we know, is shirt. It's a noun. Make sure it's got a capital letter. Number zwei. I wear a blue tie. Our letters are I, T, E, B, and a capital K. So it will be, Ich trage eine blaue Krawatte. I wear a blue tie. Okay, so ending for eine is E, and a capital K for Krawatte. Number three, I wear green trainers. It's I, T, G, and S. So the answer would be, Ich trage grüne Schuhe. So Schuhe we know are plural. And the ending for plural adjectives is E. Perfect. Okay, I hope that makes it a bit clearer what the endings are, how you add the endings, what the genders are. German is a little bit more complicated than English in terms of genders and endings, but the more practice you do with it, the easier it will become. So, our success criteria. At the start of the lesson, our outcome was to learn about the school uniform, which we've done, okay? So, bronze. I will be able to remember colours. So, we have things like grün, schwarz, weiß, rot, blau, gelb, braun, grau, okay? Lots of colours. Silver. I will be able to recognise items of clothing. We have eine Jacke. We have einen Rock. We have Schuhe. We have ein Hemd, we have eine Hose, okay, lots of items, but we'll look at this again next week, okay, so don't worry. 
schooled, I will be able to describe my school uniform. Okay? You are starting to write some sentences at the end. So, ich trage einen schwarzen Rock. That would describe your school uniform. Perfect. Okay. Give yourself a high five. Well done. On to your homework. Okay, so if you enjoy Nando's, this is going to be the one for you. Just like in Nando's, if you go to your menu, you have the different uh, heats or flavours for your chicken. So there are four different levels of spiciness, okay? And I would like you to complete at least two tasks. So you might decide, mm, I'm feeling brave. I'm going to go and do the extra hot and the hot task. Or maybe you're like, mm, I'm still learning, I'm taking it slow, I'll do the lemon and herb and the mild. It's up to you, okay? You can decide which level you want, just complete at least two. If you manage to get through all this work, there are also some extension activities. Um, it's some online quizzes on a website, but I'll put that in the show my homework post for you to complete and they, it looks at the grammar points that we looked at today. Okay, hope you enjoyed the lesson. If there are any questions, don't uh, forget just to message us and show me homework. Perfect. Viel Spaß. Tschüss.